We always love doing the unexpected with Scott Lang. Batman is arguably the character that is the most underestimated. Ant-Man became the key to saving the universe in Avengers Endgame. So carrying that tradition, we thought, well, let's use this film to kick off phase five. It's been almost a decade now that I've been playing this part. I've loved it and I feel protective of Scott Lang and Ant-Man. It's really nice coming back. I still kind of can't believe that I'm sitting there and it's like, wow, there's Michelle Pfeiffer and there's Michael Douglas. I just saved eight bucks. God, I admire you. It's really nice not to get used to working with legends. You're sending a signal down to the quantum realm. It's a secret universe beneath ours. Janet has been very quiet about her time in the quantum realm. Maybe would have you know, made different choices. <laughs> There's someone I never told you about. This place isn't what you think. Kang, the Conqueror, is terrifying. And if there ever was a maniac loose in the quantum realm, it's him. Playing Kang, the Conqueror, is such a gift. Your reality. Everything you're holding on to, I know how it ends. This is the beginning, and he cannot be contained. Something like this, which is so transportive and visually striking, people should really see it in a movie theater. You want it to be as big and as visceral and consuming as possible. Audiences are going to watch this and go, I can't believe this is happening. It's going to be bonkers. It's like we're camping. We've never been camping. But we've always talked about it.